why we've got Linda Muma this morning joining us live from Modesto, where she gets uh, a little tutorial that we can all learn from. Hey, Linda. Hey, guys. Yeah, okay, so I... I uh, this is kind of I'm being selfish this morning <laughs> because I want to know how to put something together so beautiful. We're at Rodine Ranch uh, Farmer's Market. They have such beautiful baskets here. And so I've got Marie here, and you're going to show us how to put something together like that yes. right here. That is so gorgeous. It looks so pretty. It's such a great gift. Okay, so what is kind of the first step in putting together a beautiful basket like this? Okay, Linda, the first step in making a gift basket is you pick out the appropriate size basket okay. for your items. Okay. So you picked out some ochre chips, some popcorn, <laughs> pretzel balls, alpine mints. Some unique items. Some unique <laughs> items, yes. So for me, the, the most important thing when doing a gift basket is um, finding the right spot for all the stuff. So I like to put the bigger stuff in the back. Okay. That's a good And have tip. it cascade down. Oh, so you kind of have like a tiered system going here. Yes, that okay. way you can see all the products. Without having to open it, you see it right away. Right away. Okay. I like this. And I like to always get a smaller basket and have it more abundant. Okay. So instead of getting a really large basket and kind of spacing it all out, a smaller basket and having it all bursting out is always a good oh, touch. And what is this stuff called here? That's called crinkle. Linda. Okay, crinkle. Thank crinkle. you. Okay. Yes. Okay, and so you actually filled it up pretty high so that well, it kind I of sits some, up. I um, put craft paper. Okay. I crumbled up some craft paper, put that on the bottom, and put the crinkle on top. And so that just really shows off what you have in the basket yeah, right away. Yeah, you can like make it higher in the back. You can do all kinds of things. And I know you have a lot of your own products here, but can people come here and bring you, like, say, a bottle of wine they picked up or, or oh, some yes. unique item, a yeah, book? Yeah, we can, we can add that to the basket, too. Um, and you then can just, bring in, like, if you want to bring in um, a family, like, calendar that you made, you can add that to the to the baskets. It's really all about personalization, right? Basket Absolutely. baskets? Yeah. And then do, does the size and shape of the basket matter too when you're assembling these? Um, for uh, I love a basket with a handle. It always makes the best bows. Oh yeah. It's on the top, yes. And I, you were telling me a trick too, like this bow here. You were saying that uh, you use kind of like a wired bow oh, and that yeah. helps you That's, get the shape? And yeah, because then you can always re-fluff it back out if it gets crinkled or starts to lay funny. And then you can just fluff it back up and it goes right back to normal. Well, I love it. You gave us some really great tips on how to assemble our own baskets. Mm -hmm. um, and then you do this not only for Christmas, you do this all year round. So if you're interested, uh, we'll put the information on the screen there and for you guys to head on out here to Rodine Ranch as well. And we'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay. Linda, thank you. Now we know. Good job. Good job. Let's get